Organizations have many business questions, yet critical reporting and analytics don't always perform at the business speeds. I'm talking about reports and analytics that scan and aggregate lots of data, what if type questions, ad hoc queries, and iterative drill downs. Think BI, dashboards, and reporting type workloads. The challenge is that we're asking the underlying databases to do a lot of things at once, including handling all of our transactions and our expanding analytics, not to mention our growing data volumes and our increasing user populations. No wonder our IT organizations spend so much of their time trying to keep our systems performing to the satisfaction of the business users and analysts. Let's take a closer look. Traditional row-based tables were primarily designed to insert and retrieve individual rows, which they do very quickly. This is great for our transactional workloads. But analytics often requires accessing millions of rows, a few entire columns at a time. This takes much longer. So how do we address this? One solution is to use a structure that's better suited to reporting and analytics. Often this is a columnar format, which stores all the data of a particular column side by side so that it's faster to retrieve. Columnar databases are often placed in memory for even faster performance. But there are several challenges with this approach as well. First, it takes a lot longer to insert those row-based transactions. So this format is not well suited to our OLTP needs. To meet all our needs, we really need both formats, which leads to the other key challenge. There could be significant delays in offloading the data from our OLTP system to our reporting system. Think data marts and data warehouses. These work great for historical data, but not necessarily for real-time or near real-time query needs. So how do we propose to fix this? Well, did you know that with the Oracle database, you can improve your reporting and analytic performance by up to 100 times in just a few easy steps? And did you know that you can do this within your existing transactional system without needing to offload to another environment? So you'll not only improve performance, but you'll have access to your data in real time. Okay. Let me show you how we do this. In the Oracle database, we take a dual format approach. We start with our traditional row-based format. That doesn't change, so we know we'll have excellent OLTP performance and data integrity assured. But we then add an in-memory columnar store for whatever subset of data we need it for. Both formats are simultaneously active and transactionally consistent. OLTP uses the proven row format and analytics and reporting use the in-memory columnar format. The beauty of this approach is that it all happens under the covers with no application changes required. The database optimizer acts as the traffic cop and decides which format is best to meet the needs of any given request. So with this dual format approach, a single Oracle database can efficiently support our operational and analytical workloads at the same time. We can maintain performance for transactions while simultaneously supporting analytics and reporting. And we don't need to move the data to a data mart or data warehouse, so the data is available in real time. And because it's inside the database, it can be deployed anywhere, whether that's on-prem or in the cloud. Now, I mentioned that you can easily do all of this. In fact, there's really only three steps to enable Oracle database in memory. The first step, you tell the database how much physical memory you wish to allocate for your in-memory store. The second step, 
you tell it which tables or subsets of data are to be moved into memory. And even this step can be fully automated. And lastly, you can later drop the analytic indexes in order to speed up OLTP because those ones, which are used for performance, are no longer required. So now I know you're thinking to yourself, well, that looked easy, but my company hasn't licensed Oracle database in memory. Well, did you know that the first 16 gig column store is free with your database enterprise edition? Beginning with Oracle database 19 C, you can run Oracle database in memory on your first 16 gigabyte column store without additional cost. That's right, if you're on 19C or later, you only need to license database in memory when you go above that 16 gigabyte. You can read more about this on our database in memory blog or just search on Oracle database in memory base level. So give it a try today and watch your reports and analytics fly.